The airport fired. It's Dr. Mackey continuing on with these administrative documents. There's no easy way to make them fun, but so we'll just keep trudging through. Uh, this is policy 5010. Although this is a short document, it pretty much is in our wheelhouse. It's transfer of care from a non-transporting paramedic to a transporting paramedic. It's kind of where we're going to live most of the time. So it's a quick document, just going to run through some key highlights that, yes, you can transfer care from a non-transporting to a transporting paramedic, uh, and that the assessment and care that's provided by that non-transporting paramedic must relate to that paramedic. So there's a verbal report given. Uh, obviously, no patient care can be compromised in the transfer of care, and that transporting paramedic can, in fact, refuse to assume the care if they feel that there's uh, further treatment or stabilization needed. You don't need to contact direct medical control or make base contact for transfer of care unless there is some sort of need or question arises. Remember that we're gonna be completing pre-hospital care reports on those patients that we arrive uh, first uh, or we're transferring care unless both paramedics arrive simultaneously. Hey guys, because this document is so short, I thought I'd spend a second going through some of the patient types we are not going to want to transfer. They're pretty intuitive, but let's go through a couple of them. Advanced airways, anytime you're going to do an advanced airway, don't pass that off. Maintain care of that patient all the way to the hospital. Second type of patient is going to be critically ill patients. So major traumas, cardiac arrest, severe sepsis, STEMI patients, severe respiratory distress. Think of being in the back of the ambulance by yourself and then having the patient deteriorate and needing a set of hands in the back of the ambulance. In those cases, it's going to make the most sense to be of assistance to the medic that's going to be transporting and maintain care of that patient. Other than that, I think the vast majority of patients that we are going to have out at the airport, we're going to be able to transfer care. Okay, guys, thanks. That ends this short policy. We'll see you on the next one.